Hi besties, I just got home from, I was at Dylan's and I just got home and if you hear my cat meowing, it's because I just got home and he's probably hungry but I fed him already, he just doesn't realize it. I went thrifting, I went thrifting and I bought a few things and I'm just gonna throw them in my wash really quick. I don't know if I should do a quick like thrift haul now, I went thrift shopping on Thursday after work. All that stuff's already washed and put away. And then I went through shopping on Friday. I'll just show you. I got this black, like, short dress on the shorter side because it's a petite dress and I'm a tall girl. But, like, it wasn't short enough that it looked weird. I got this skirt to wear to work. Really mostly just for work. I got these Dickies pants. They're, like, men's cargo pants. They're navy. And I'm just like, well, I got this shirt, which I'm kind of iffy, but it was like $4. It's supposed to be off the shoulder, American Eagle, probably from like 2014, but I'm going to wear it like this. Oh, I got the tank top I'm wearing right now on Thursday when I went through shopping. I got this dress for work. It's just like denim, and then on the bottom, it's like a darker denim. I also got this shirt when I was thrifting on Thursday. Brandy Melville t-shirt, which I'm not of, I'm not... The one size fits all, I'm not really included in that all, but that somehow fit me. I could have stayed at Dylan's tonight too, but I was like kind of bored. And I really just like didn't do, I wasn't doing anything there. And I felt kind of just like icky there from not doing anything, which is like my own, my own thing. I have my period, or I think I do. So I just like felt like I needed alone time. So, and I'm going to just like have some leftover pasta that I had and then... It's a gorgeous day out. I might go for a walk. I don't know. I just feel very, like I was very antsy at Dylan's. I haven't had any caffeine today. So then I was like, I just like was feeling in a weird mood. I'm going to f probably vlog tomorrow. Tomorrow, all I have planned is I'm gonna go to the grocery store and maybe a coffee shop. I have schoolwork I really need to do. I need to do some of that tomorrow. I'm really good at procrastinating. I just made an olote street corn dip. Uh, Dylan and I tried this new Mexican restaurant that opened near his house and it was so good. It opened recently and like we've been wanting to try it. We wanted to try a little bit of everything. I really wanted to try the street corn dip. It's basically a lote. I don't know if I'm like, look, I could be saying that so wrong. It's basically a lote, but they don't have like corn on the cob right now because they're like super all about freshness or whatever. And I guess they can't get fresh corn on the cob. I believe this is the right story. It's like what I saw in like the comments on Facebook. So right now they just, have, I don't know if it's frozen corn or canned corn. I'm not sure what they use, but it's like a dip. And I had canned corn or my parents had leftover canned corn in the fridge. So I thought I'd try to replicate it. I looked online at a few recipes. I don't have any mayonnaise. I don't know why my parents, like there's no mayonnaise here, but whatever. So I used Miracle Whip, which I hate, but like the tiniest bit. And then I used mostly sour cream and cream cheese as the base. And then corn, I used a little bit of like chili powder, cayenne powder, uh, like onion, garlic, and then um, cheese. I think that's everything. My parents are gone for the weekend. They're like at my grandparents' house camping because their camper or RV, whatever, is still at my grandparents' house. That's like where they kept it over the winter. They're coming back at some point tomorrow. Or no, I'm lying. My dad is coming back at some point tomorrow. I believe my mom's gonna stay. Today was beautiful. I think tomorrow's gonna be nice. I think it's supposed to be nice like all next week, which is so exciting. I'm really working on trying to find hobbies because I don't have any hobbies and I come home and I watch TikTok. I deleted TikTok off my phone and I was doing really good. Then I got strep throat and I re-downloaded it because all I could do was lame. And I haven't um, gotten rid of it since, unfortunately. But I also want to film TikToks. Um, I wanna like get back on my influencer era or whatever like i just want to take it more seriously because i i did a little bit of shadow work and with doing that i basically came to the conclusion that i don't upload as much as i want to because i'm scared that i if i like i don't want to look dumb or silly like uploading a bunch and nothing coming from it i would rather like upload and not be consistent and so like my social media not go anywhere because at least like i'm not i'm only half-assed trying and not getting results instead of like 
looking like I'm trying super hard and not getting the results I want, but the only way I will ever get followers or whatever is if I actually take it seriously. I also tend to procrastinate. I am gonna go grocery shopping in the morning. I wanna get stuff to make like chai lattes at home because my cat missed me because he was home alone but i'm gonna get stuff to get big chai at home not like the concentrate i'm gonna like literally make my own there's this area that i really want to move to i drove through it like i've looked i had an idea that i wanted to live there been there like a few times that i haven't really like explored the area too much and then like i kind of googled apartments in that area from like the little bit i had been there and i found an apartment building that's beautiful I definitely don't like I don't see it fitting in my budget right now like right currently exactly right now because just I live with my parents for a reason I just really liked this apartment building and it was kind of just like something I had looked into because I'm nosy I really like this apartment building whatever and then on Thursday when I went to this thrift store I had to drive through the area I passed the apartment building like not even like I just happened to have to drive by the apartment building and the area is beautiful. There's like cafes really close, uh, grocery store really close, like everything. It's just a very nice area I wanted to move to. So now I just like have in my head that I want to move there, but I need to make enough money to move there. I'm watching Community right now. Like that's my show I've been watching. So I'm going to go probably eat some of that dip watch some community i'll check in with you later i think like my plan i i don't know if i'm gonna film cat i see you babe i think i'm going to watch some community and then i'm gonna have like a good shower and change my bed sheets and just like have a nice sleep wake up early tomorrow might go for a walk i'm gonna go grocery shopping early i with my anxiety and stuff i just would much rather go early in the morning plus then i'd have all day to cook and stuff okay it's been a little bit it's 7 22 now i'm gonna have this kombucha it's the cove kombucha watermelon guava they just added like guava to this it used to just be watermelon i believe I didn't like it. Don't like watermelon flavored things, but like I like watermelon, but I feel like the like artificial watermelon flavor, even though this says no artificial flavor, doesn't it? Nothing artificial. It just, I don't know. Like watermelon flavor. I'm gonna drink this anyway. I had so much dairy because I had that corn dip and then I had, before that I had supper, which was this Brussels sprout pasta I make, but the sauce for that is like cream cheese based. So the dairy, all the dairy that's going on in my stomach right now, it's not good. I'm bloated. So I'm going to have this kombucha and then I'm probably going to have a turmeric tea and then a peppermint tea. That's kind of like, I just like drinking those before bed. And then, yeah, that's going to be that. I'm going to shower, have a nice full body shower. Like I had said, I think I'm going to do that and change my sheets because that just sounds so peaceful. And I'm gonna try to wake up early tomorrow. I'm gonna go downstairs and watch YouTube. I watched Community. I think I watched like two episodes of Community. And I'm gonna go downstairs and watch some YouTube now. And then once I'm done drinking this, I'll have my shower. All right, as you can probably tell from my hair, my cute little house coat, I am out of the shower now. The sun's just setting. It's 8, 17, so it's been like an hour since I last checked in. I never know, like, I'm going to either vlog too much or I don't vlog enough, which, like, there's, I never feel like, oh, I vlogged the perfect amount. I think I'm going to get in bed. I'm just making tea right now. I looked and there's a spin class tomorrow at 9.30, like, I'm going to go grocery shopping in the area that I just mentioned that I want to live in because it's not too far from here and manifestation you know if i shop there and act like i live there it's not far enough away that it's like too weird i probably won't vlog for the rest of the night this airplane looks like a straight up rocket ship and you see how it's going straight up i love airplanes like i love them that's this one right here new york to vienna because that's the closest one to me right now i love stuff like that i love traveling but i don't do enough of it. I'm gonna go edit some of this video and make my grocery list and then go to bed. So I'll talk to you guys in the morning. Good morning. It is nine o'clock. Oh, of course I would 
fucking miss a FaceTime call in these five last minutes from, I'm gonna call my boyfriend back and then I'll talk to you guys after. Okay, I'm back. It was like no time for you, I know, but it was just a short little phone call. I was gonna go grocery shopping this morning and like I was just, you know, having me time, a long time. And then Dylan so kindly texted me and is like, oh, I'm going to come over, which yesterday he was like, oh, I'm not coming over. I like thought I had this whole day to myself, which is okay. I love Dylan very much. Anyway, I was like, I'm, I need to go grocery shopping. He's like, I'll go with you. So we're going to go grocery shopping together. We're still going to the grocery store where like near where I want to live. So now we're going to. I'm gonna, in my head, fantasize about us living together there. What else do we need to do? Oh, TikToks. I'm gonna film myself getting ready, which is what I'm about to do. I'm gonna film a, like, get ready with me to run errands. I, it's hard to balance, like, what I want to post on TikTok and then, like, vlogging. Because if I post to, like, come run errands with me, I have to, like, think in my brain of, like, what I'm filming for the TikTok and what I'm filming for YouTube. And to me, that seems really confusing and like overwhelming um sydney adams sydney adams does such a good job at like posting on tiktok and youtube and like them both like you don't need to watch her tiktok and her youtube i do because i just really like her i'm also planning on in the summertime since i don't work because i work in a school don't work in the summer i plan on vlogging and doing stuff more because i'll have more time i said that last year and didn't do it okay so my makeup and my hair is done i don't love my hair i'm gonna show you my outfit there's people driving past my house really slow i'm just wearing this like loose flowy dress it's pretty short it's the petite one i showed you at the beginning of this dylan left already he's on his way here okay now i have this on it's like my jeans, this cardigan that I wear literally everywhere. The back of this bodysuit, it's a dance bodysuit. I thrifted, but it gives a little nostalgia because I used to dance. But like, I think it looks good, but it's not very springy and it's so beautiful out there. I'm just like, I tried another, another dress. I didn't like it. I feel like I'm cold right now in my room. I have the window open. Like in the shade, I feel like it's gonna be cold. I'm like debating putting on leggings and a crop top, which is so like, bleh. Not what I wanna give the vibes of. Guess what outfit I ended up settling on? Leggings and a crop top. Okay, we're just, I'm in the car and I'm waiting for Dylan to get his grocery bag. And. Yeah, we're gonna go to the grocery store. Potentially get a chai. I'm buying stuff to make chai, so I'm like, do I really wanna go buy one? And I need to, I would like to clean up my car, cause now just getting in it, it's dirty, and I like to tidy that up, so we'll see. Okay, so my dad came to pick up Dylan from where we were. We were just at, we did go to the cafe, but a chai latte, there's a man walking by, and he's staring at me. I'm at the cafe, like, parking lot right now. I ran to Shoppers and got this Neutrogena body oil. I honestly just wanted to vlog something quick before I was home and it looked like I didn't vlog anything outside of the house. Okay, I'm just getting home. I just carried all the groceries upstairs. So I'm out of breath. I all the groceries up, then realized I forgot my camera in my car. I got this oil at Shoppers, like I had told you. It's just body oil. Hopefully it's nice. I don't even know what it smells like. Clean old lady. It's apparently sesame oil. They literally had to put on it. Be careful, like avoid moving or you'll slip. Okay, so I got white tea lavender flavor. Never ever have I had this. I got this new lemonade, the Calamansi, Calamansi, Calamansi. And it says with a lively tart sweet zing and I like sour so i thought that that would be good coconut waters i'm trying to drink more which is dumb because i only drank water and that was all i drank and now i'm trying to drink more fun things because i am sober but like <laughs> every time i say i'm sober it sounds like i drank I never drink, but like party why I've never been to a club. I think I already said that in this video or I said it in a TikTok I made today. Never been to a club um, and like at family events or anything, I'd rather just be the DD. Okay, my camera card said it was full, so then I had to like go take everything, put it on my laptop and then format the card. I just decided I was not gonna drink anymore. With my anxiety, and I've always felt this way and I just really need to like stay true to it. 
um, with my anxiety. I feel like any time I drink or do drugs or anything, I always feel like I'd rather be sober because I'm not like in, con I don't feel like I'm in control in the moment. And I feel like a lot of my anxiety stems from feeling like I'm not in control. If I'm not more anxious in the moment, I'm more anxious after it wears off because there was a period of time where I wasn't in control. And I'm very supportive of whatever. I don't care if someone else drinks or if someone else smokes or whatever you may have. I can't do it because I get anxious. So, and like so many people are like, oh, well, like you just haven't like smoked the right weed or you haven't whatever whatever when i just feel like i feel like the way to combat my anxiety is not with any substance of any kind i think it's exercise and like a healthy diet which like ugh. sorry I, i'm a buzzkill coconut water because it helps hydrate you because there's natural electrolytes in it container of blueberries and one container of blackberries for my oatmeal i'm gonna try to have oatmeal for breakfast this week i got a lemon for lemon water Ugh, hot lemon water disgusting i used to hate it i used to drink it because of like the diet girlies but it does have health benefits but it's not gonna like make you magically skinny so like if you're gonna drink it to like detox your body in the morning let's not let's not do that it's 2023 and hot any hot beverage so like the whole thing with like hot lemon water keeping you regular it's actually like a hot beverage in the morning gets everything moving i had mentioned i'm making chipotle like chipotle like when you go to the restaurant chipotle bowls there's no chipotle near me the only like time i've had chipotle was twice when i've been in toronto and it's amazing and we don't have it here so i'm gonna try to make it at home two cans of chipotle peppers and adobo sauce because it was on sale i think i only need one for the queso so i got poblano peppers to go in the queso then i also i'm gonna make chai tea i think i said so i got this taj mahal loose leaf black tea i got this tea because it was in the world food section it was cheaper than the like one thing of black tea they had in the like tea regular tea aisle I got milk for my queso it said whole milk i got two percent because my boyfriend drinks milk i bought it because he needs milk to drink milk here and so i just bought that because i need it for my queso i bought two things of black beans for my we probably have black beans here but they're a dollar a thing of canned corn for my bowl cilantro for my rice and my pico green mexican salsa isn't it tomatillo i then got lemon pie filling i'm like totally off camera right now and fluff because i'm gonna make like a lemon marshmallow cookie it called for lemon curd i googled it they are different but i didn't want to have to make lemon curd black cardamom seed i this is what it called for in my chai it said cardamom pods but this looks like a pod to me finally i got this melted now um ben and jerry's netflix and chill ice cream it's the best ben and jerry flavor it's the best at least in my opinion all right this is the white tea lavender flavor definitely lavender flavored i don't love it it's like very floral very lavendery which like yeah it's interesting it has watermelon juice in it that i'm just reading now on the back and i don't love watermelon flavored things like i said yesterday not too sure about that hopefully this lemonade is more of a win I want to know about a calamansi? Calum, it's a Philippine lime or a Philippine lemon. Sounds sexy. Calamansi. Calamansi. Oh, that's really nice. So I think I'm going to start on my cookies now for my chai. And then I will do my chipotle bowls later because my chicken thighs need to thaw. I may finish my chai. And it's like the oat milk is really gross. Can you see? See those little white? Like this is what it looks like now. This is what it used to look like. And it wasn't so chunky. It used to not be as chunky. So I don't know if I'm shaking it wrong. I used to like, like there used to be like bigger chunks at the bottom, which sounds gross, but mm. it was still good. Like you just didn't, like when you got to the bottom of a carton, you just had to kind of like strain the oat milk that was left so that you didn't get the chunks in it. Anyway, my chai's good. I think my ratio was a little off. Ratio? You sound like a little Gen Z -er. My ratio of, that's the word, the ratio of milk to. I know, I know. And then 
I make my I made my cookies. Here's the finished product. I'll show you. They look like this. They're a little undercooked. I only put them in for eight minutes because it's like my oven's convection. Not like, well, I could make it an oven oven, but I'm too lazy to do that. And then we're gonna have lobster for supper. Lobster burgers. That was a surprise. My dad brought that with him. I was gonna just make my chipotle bowls, but I might just make those for my lunch still. Would you like a chipotle bowl in your lunch? A what? A chipotle bowl, like a bowl from Chipotle. But Sydney made it. A Sydney bowl. A Sydney bowl. A Sid... A Sipotle? A Sipotle. That was good. You came up with it faster than I did. I need to, I'm going to make my own queso for it. My own guacamole, my own pico de gallo, my own corn salsa. I have, I bought tomatillo salsa. I'm going to make my own lime cilantro rice. Probably brown rice. I like brown rice more than chicken thighs. Uh, I know you don't like chicken thighs. I like them better. No, I like thighs. They're good enough. I'll take one for lunch tomorrow. Are you kidding me? And I don't think I need any of your tomatoes because my dad brought home too. Fine then. I will gladly take one here too. I've literally just been doing a crazy amount of cooking. Um, I made supper, which was just like a lobster poutine. Ignore my mess. But like I prepped all these vegetables. My chicken's marinating on the counter. I definitely need to put that away. I'm making queso. This is what it looks like right now. It's just milk, butter, well it's butter, poblano pepper, chipotle, an adobo, but the adobo sauce part is what the chicken is marinating in with a few spices. I'll link all the recipes I'm following down below so you can recreate this because none of them are mine. Just cut out of the shower. It's a while later. <laughs> I feel like I could get a lot done right now. I also hurt once before that like if you feel like you can be productive, it's better to just like be productive then try to go to bed also i tried that body oil and i don't love the smell of it like it smells very much like my great aunt which like she smells good but it's just smelling too much like older lady it's gonna be the end of this video i'll talk to you guys in my next one i appreciate you watching the whole video and yeah i'll see you guys around bye guys